Okay, so today I'm going to be using some of the Moda panel to make some cute little tiny pinwheels. So let's get started on the project. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to make these quilt blocks using the um, Moda is my favorite color panel is so four of the one and a quarter inch strips together. So we're gonna have four sets of four strips sewn together. So now that we have all of our strips sewn together, you see there are four sewn together. And remember these strips are one and a quarter inches. And I cut mine so that I get rid of all of the numbers and the words in the seam allowance. So one and a quarter inches, four. And then I had some leftover solid strips that were two inches wide and I sewed two of those together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting these into three and a half inch squares. Oh, I thought I had my small ruler over here, but I did not. <laughs> so I'm going to cut these into three and a half inch squares. And they might be a little off and that's okay because we're going to be trimming them later. So three and a half inches. And what I'm going to be doing is pairing these up. Let me cut this side because it looks a little nicer. I'm going to pair one of the solid squares up with one of these with the half circles. So these will get paired together and I'm going to be sewing these into half square triangles. So I'll be marking down, just grab a marking pen. I'm going to mark from corner to corner. And then I'll sew a quarter inch along both sides, cut them in half and square them up to three inches. And what I'm going to be doing with these is making these little pinwheels. Isn't that just cute? It is so darling. Um, there is a lot of seam bulk there, so you got to press really good. But I'm pairing these up with these solids that are five inches because we'll trim these down to five inches. And I'm just going to make a little tiny wall hanging out of them. And it's just going to be darling. So... I'm going to get these cut, all these cut, and then I'll show you sewing along each side and trimming them and how to sew them together. So keep on watching.
Okay, so now that we've sewn along each side of the mark line a quarter of an inch away, we are going to cut down the mark line and trim the half square triangles to three inches. So I like to use my Clearly Perfect slotted trimmer. This one has the three inch line. So I'm gonna use the straight edge, longer edge to cut down the marked line. And then I will turn it. I line up my stitch lines with the dotted three inch line. And then I just trim along each side and cut the dog ears off at the slots. And it makes your perfect little half square triangle. So I'm gonna go through and cut all these and then we'll piece them together into little pinwheels. So I have all of the pieces pressed open. I pressed to the um, side that only has two strips sewn together. And now we're just gonna sew all of the pinwheels together. I'm gonna start by pairing the two on top and bottom. So a quarter inch along the seam and just keep doing that through the whole stack. And then I will press the top and bottom seams in opposite directions and sew them together through the middle. Okay, so now that all of our pinwheel squares are sewn together, we're going to need to trim them down to five inch squares. So to do that, I like to 
line up my two and a half inch line on the middle line of the pinwheel block and then I just trim off the excess on the sides and I go around and do that on all four sides. So I line it up, turn, line up, and I <laughs> am not paying attention, so line up, trim, So line up the two and a half inch line down the middle and this will give me a nice even square. Why do I keep turning the ruler today? I'm telling you it is early, early, early. Well, it's not early anymore, but I got up early today for my daughter's soccer game. And so I am like, my brain is not working. So when we get all these trimmed up, we can organize them with our five inch solids to make our little wall hanging. Um, and obviously if you wanna make more, you can make, make a ton more, make a big, large quilt, however you want to do it. So I'm just gonna keep going through these and trimming them to five inch squares. everything cut, trimmed, and our little pinwheel block sewn together, we can put the little wall hanging together. So I have eight um, solid five inch squares and then eight pinwheels and I'm just doing um, four in a row to make a perfect square. So just arrange everything the way you would like and we're going to sew it together in rows and press the seams of each row in opposite directions and bring all the rows together to make the top of our wall hanging.
Okay, so now the celebration pinwheels are finished after quilting and binding. So I tried to do a little bit of free motion quilting to practice since it was a small project. It's just really hard for me to get some free good free motion stitches in. Um, but practice, practice, practice. That's what I need. So that's what I'm going to do every now and then. But there we go. I thought the pinwheels turned out really cute. They are tiny, but sometimes on projects, it's fun to work a little bit smaller. So again, thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.